The humid subtropical climate, it's a climate that millions of people call home, and it's found on every inhabited continent on Earth. That's right, from the United States to China, from Brazil to Australia, the humid subtropical climate is everywhere. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So, what exactly is the humid subtropical climate? Well, it's characterized by hot, humid summers and cool winters with plenty of rain. In the summer, temperatures can soar, getting pretty close to what you'd find in the tropics. It's the kind of heat that makes you want to jump into a pool or sit in front of a fan all day. But in the winter, temperatures typically drop to between 0 and 10 degrees Celsius. It's a nice break from the summer heat, but it can still get pretty chilly. This seasonal variation is all thanks to the latitude. You see, the further you are from the equator, the more variation in temperature you'll experience throughout the year. It's like the Earth is tilted on its axis, and as it orbits around the sun, different parts of the planet get more or less direct sunlight. And that, my friends, is what causes the seasons. Now, there are two main types of humid subtropical climates, CFA and CWA. CFA regions experience rain all year round, which means you'll never have to worry about a drought. It's like the sky is always ready to give the land a nice, refreshing drink. On the other hand, CWA regions have rain mostly during the summer, which is why it's also known as the subtropical monsoon climate. It's similar to the tropical monsoon climate, but with cooler winters. You might be wondering why these regions are so wet when they're just above the tropics, where you'd expect to find deserts. Well, the answer lies in the oceans. On the eastern sides of the continents, the oceans have warm water, which means there's a lot of moisture in the air. This moist air gets pushed onto the land by high-pressure systems, and before you know it, you've got rain. So, where in the world can you find the humid subtropical climate? Well, in the United States, it covers almost a quarter of the country. You'll find it stretching from Missouri down to Texas and across the southern states to the eastern seaboard. It's the climate that brings the heat and humidity to places like Atlanta, New Orleans, and Houston. But the United States isn't the only place you'll find the humid subtropical climate. In fact, it's found on every continent except Antarctica. In Mexico, you'll find two bands of the subtropical monsoon climate on either side of the central highlands. In South America, it covers a big chunk of Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Argentina, including major cities like Sao Paulo and Buenos Aires. Crossing the Atlantic, you'll find pockets of the humid subtropical climate in Italy, sheltered by the Alps to the north and the Apennine Mountains to the south. It's the perfect climate for growing grapes and making wine, which is why Italy is famous for its vineyards. In Asia, the subtropical monsoon climate dominates a large stretch of northern India, including the capital city of Delhi. It extends eastward into northern Vietnam and southern and mid-China, including the hugely populated Pearl River Delta region with cities like Guangzhou, Shenzhen, Macau, and Hong Kong. The humid subtropical climate with year-round rain is found in an even wider area of central and eastern China, including the megacity of Shanghai. It's also found in Taiwan and the southern and eastern parts of Japan, including Tokyo, the world's largest urban area. And let's not forget about Australia. The central eastern coast of Australia, including the cities of Brisbane and Sydney, falls within the humid subtropical climate zone. Despite being spread out across the globe, the humid subtropical climate is pretty consistent. If you look at temperature and rainfall graphs for these regions, you'll see a lot of similarities. It's like Mother Nature has a recipe for the perfect humid subtropical climate, and she follows it no matter where in the world she's cooking it up. In terms of landscapes and vegetation, low-lying plains are the most common type of topography in this climate zone. In their natural state, these plains would be covered by either mixed woodland or grassland. It's a bit like a patchwork quilt of trees and grass, with each patch representing a different season. And speaking of seasons, the humid subtropical climate has four distinct ones, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Deciduous trees are a dead giveaway for this climate zone. In the spring, they burst into bloom with beautiful flowers. In the summer, their leaves are a lush green. In the autumn, those same leaves turn brilliant shades of yellow, orange, and red before falling to the ground. And in the winter, the trees are bare, waiting for the cycle to start all over again. 
But because the moderate climate is so good for agriculture, most of the natural landscape has been replaced by crops like rice, nuts, wheat, cotton, and tobacco. It's a bit sad to think about all the forests that have been cleared for farmland, but it's also important to remember that this agriculture supports the high populations found in many humid subtropical regions, especially in China and India. And with all those people comes the need for cities. The humid subtropical climate is home to some of the world's largest and most sophisticated cities. Places like Sao Paulo, Buenos Aires, Shanghai, Tokyo, and Sydney all fall within this climate zone. It's no wonder, with relatively mild temperatures and plenty of rain, it's a pretty great place to live. Of course, living in a humid subtropical climate isn't always easy. The hot, humid summers can be oppressive, and the rain can sometimes feel like it's never going to stop. But overall, it's a climate that supports life in all its forms, from the plants that grow in the fields to the people who live in the cities. So there you have it, the humid subtropical climate in all its glory. It might not be as flashy as some other climate zones, but it's certainly one of the most important in terms of population and cities. Thanks for tuning in to Plain Tick. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more fascinating videos about the world we live in.